It all starts in the mountains, where water is held in the form of snow and ice, which are known as glaciers. If these glaciers melt in spring, huge amounts of water reach the valley via small streams. The cold and fresh glacier water has a dark grey hue. This water is called glacier milk. It is not dirty or unhealthy, but transports many small stones and thus also minerals, which is important for the environment in the regions downstream. High altitude streams and lakes are very clean and rich in oxygen. The high temperature differences between day and night, the strong solar radiation, and the high flow rates of alpine streams mean that very few animals and plants can survive. Many small streams flow together to form a larger river. At the foot of the steep high mountains, the river forms large bends, meanders, branches, slow and fast flowing sections, stream pools and sandbanks. Here many species live together in a small space, and each gets what it needs. As it slowly gets warmer and more nutritious further downstream, the vegetation in the surrounding area increases more and more, and a system of meadows, shrubs and trees forms. The sandbars disappear, and the wide and deep riverbed cuts large bends into the landscape. Floods supply the surrounding landscape with water and nutrients, the river receives animal and plant remains from the land in return. These are crushed by insects and broken down into their components by microorganisms, feeding the water dwellers. In addition, the change in water level results in the formation of terrace systems, which in turn provide new habitat. In very sharp bends, the river takes the shorter path and eats through the sediment, creating big islands, small lakes, and ponds that completely separate from the stream over time. In the river, many species can share a small space. It provides more food and a more comfortable water temperature. The river fights its way in an almost straight line through an increasingly flat landscape and finally reaches the sea as a river delta, where fresh and salt water meet, a paradise for many animals and plants emerges. Some bird species use such areas as breeding grounds or stopovers on their long flights. A river consists of many small systems that depend on each other. Each section represents an ecotope in which specific species are to be found.